Hi friends, you are welcome back to another interesting question. We are asked to calculate the area of this yellow triangle. We have the length of this side to be A and this is also A. This angle is a right angle. From here, there are three unique shapes, a semicircle a quadrant and an equilateral triangle this is the quadrant there is the semicircle and as for the equilateral triangle obviously this is it here we are given a squared equal to 48 so how can we solve this how can we calculate the area of this triangle it is very simple. Formula for calculating the area of a triangle is 1 over 2 base times height. Here we see the triangle is a right angle triangle. And when calculating the area of a right angle triangle, the perpendicular sides are the base and the height. So if we take this side as the base, say B, this must be the height CH. So base equal to B and height equal to H. That is area of triangle equal to 1 over 2 BH. Come here. Label the points. So area of triangle EFG equal to 1 over 2 BH. Come to this quadrant. Obviously this side and this are extra right and the length is a from here a squared equal to 48 48 is the same as 16 times 3 take the square root of both sides of the equation here square root of a squared is a while here square root of 16 times 3 is 4 root 3 so a equal to 4 root 3. So these radii here are 4 root 3 units in length each. With respect to this semicircle, this side is its diameter. So since the diameter is 4 root 3 meters in length, its radii are going to be half 4 root 3 each, which are 2 root 3 units. Come here. This line BG is a tangent to the semicircle at this point. From the cycle theory, there is a rule that the tangent of a cycle is perpendicular to its radius through point of contact. So from the point of contact, if we draw a radius, the angle formed is going to be a right angle. The radius is 2 root 3 units. Now look at this quadrilateral ABDE. This angle and this angle are congruent and they are facing each other. That is, we have a pair of opposite equal angles. And we see this side and this are congruent. That's a pair of adjacent equal sides. The fact that they both are at the same angle with the other two adjacent sides tells that the quadrilateral is a cat shape quadrilateral and here this side and this are congruent so if we let this be v this must also be v another property of a kite is that it's long diagonal which connects the two opposite unequal angles bisect them so drawing it out I bisect this angle and this here if we let this be x this must also be x we come back to this equilateral triangle one of the properties of an equilateral triangle is that its angles are 60 degrees in size each so this angle this and this are 60 degrees each and also its sides are equal in length so if we let this be y, this and this must also be y.
Now come here, we see angle 60 degrees X and X are lying on the same straight line. And we know the rule that the angle of a straight line is 180 degrees. So therefore, the sum is 180 degrees. We have 60 degrees plus X plus X equal to 180 degrees. X plus X is 2X. Take 60 degrees to the right hand side of the equation. 180 degrees minus 60 degrees is 120 degrees. Divide both sides of the equation by 2. Here, 2 cancels 2. While here, 120 degrees divided by 2 is 60 degrees. So x equal to 60 degrees. That is, the sizes of these angles are 60 degrees as well. Now look at this triangle. It is a right angle triangle. We can use the circle to on it. Taking this angle as theta, this is the opposite and this is the adjacent. So theta equal to 60 degrees, opposite equal to 2 root 3 and adjacent equal to V. From here, TOA means tan theta equal to opposite of our adjacent. Theta is 60 degrees, opposite is 2 root 3 and adjacent is V. So tan 60 degrees equal to 2 root 3 over V. Tan 60 degrees is root 3. This root 3 eliminates this root 3. So 1 equal to 2 over V. Multiply both sides by V. Here V cancels V. While here 1 times V is V. So V equal to 2. That is, the length of these sides are two units each in length. Come to this side. Its length is 4 root 3. But it is divided into 2 and y. So 4 root 3 equal to 2 plus y. Take 2 to the left. So y equal to 4 root 3 minus 2. That is, the length of this side, this and thus each are 4 to 3 minus 2 but we have this part of this to be 2 therefore this must be 4 to 3 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4 so it is 4 to 3 minus 4 come here this angle assume its size to be z this is an angle of an equilateral triangle so therefore, its size is 60 degrees and hence this part of it going to be 60 degrees minus C. Now to this triangle, because of this CVM, we are going to use the generalized angle bisector theorem. Using the generalized angle bisector theorem, this 2 divided by this 4 to 3 minus 4 must be equal to this side multiplied by the sine ratio of this angle divided by this side multiplied by the sine ratio of this angle so 2 over 4 root 2 minus 4 equal to 4 root 3 minus 2 multiplied by sine z all over 4 root 3 minus 2 multiplied by sine 60 degrees minus z this will eliminate this so over 4 root 2 minus 4 equal to sine z over sine 60 degrees minus z Cross multiply, so 2 sine 60 degrees minus c equal to 4 2 minus 4 multiplied by sine z. For this sine 60 degrees minus c, from trigonometry, there is an identity, the sine x minus y equal to sine x cos y minus cos x sine y. So if we let x equal to 60 degrees and y equal to z, substitute it here. So sine 60 degrees minus c equal to sine 60 degrees cos c minus cos 60 degrees sine z. Sine 60 degrees is root 3 over 2 and cos 60 degrees is 1 over 2. Here we can factor out 1 over 2. So sine 60 degrees minus c equal to 
1 over 2 into bracket root 3 cos c minus sin z. Substitute it here. 2 times 1 over 2 is 1. Here, 4 minus 4 multiplied by sin z is 4 root 2 sin z minus 4 sin z. So root 3 cos c minus sin z equal to 4 root 2 sin z minus 4 sin z. Take this to the right. Minus 4 sin z plus sin z is minus 3 sin z. From here, we can factor out sin z. So it is sin z into bracket 4 root 2 minus 3. Divide both sides of the equation by 4 root 2 minus 3 multiplied by cos c. Here, cos c cancels cos c. While here, 4 root 2 minus 3 cancels 4 root 2 minus 3. So root 3 over 4 minus 3 equal to sin z over cos c. From trigonometry once again, we know tan x equal to sin x over cos x. So if we let x be z, tan z equal to sin z over cos c. Replace this with tan z. Therefore, tan z equal to root 3 over 4 root 3 minus 3. Multiply it by 4 root 3 plus 3 over 4 root 3 plus 3. It is 4 plus root 3 over 13. So tan z equal to 4 plus root 3 over 13. Come back to this triangle. We can use a circle tour on it. Taking this angle as theta, this is the opposite, say t. This is the adjacent. We know. Then theta equal to opposite of our adjacent. Theta is C. Opposite is T. And adjacent is 4 root 3. So then Z equal to T over 4 root 3. Then Z, we have it here to be 4 plus root 3 over 13. So 4 plus root 3 over 13 equal to T over 4 root 3. Multiply both sides of the equation by 4 root 3. Here, 4 root 3 cancels 4 root 3. While well, here, 4 plus root 3 times 4 root 3 is 16 root 3 plus 12. So, t equal to 16 root 3 plus 12 all over 13. That is, the length of this side is 16 root 3 plus 12 all over 13. Come back to this equilateral triangle. From this vortex, draw its altitude to the base. It will bisect it. So since the length is 4 root 3 minus 2, this and this segment each are going to be 1 over 2 times 4 root 3 minus 2, which is 2 root 3 minus 1. This angle here is an angle of an equilateral triangle. Therefore, it will be bisected. So this and this each are half 60 degrees, which is 30 degrees. Look at this triangle. It is a right angle triangle. We use a circle tour on it. Taking this angle as theta, this is the opposite. This is the adjacent CM. We know then theta equal to opposite of our adjacent. Theta is 30 degrees. Opposite is 2 root 3 minus 1. And adjacent is M. So then 30 degrees equal to 2 root 3 minus 1 all over m. Make m the subject. It is m equal to root 3 minus 1 all over 10 30 degrees. Then 30 degrees is 1 over root 3. 2 root 3 minus 1 divided by 1 over root 3 is 2 root 3 minus 1 times root 3, which is 6 minus root 3. So m equal to 6 minus root 3. That is, the length of this side is 6 minus root 3. Look at this quadrilateral. Three of its angles are right angles. That makes it either a square or a rectangle. It doesn't matter which one it is. In both the square and a rectangle, opposite sides are equal in length. So this side and this are equal. And this and this are congruent. So since this is h and this is a summation of 
2 and that's 2 root 3 minus 1. H equal to 2 plus 2 root 3 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So it is 1 plus 2 root 3. And here, since this side is 6 minus root 3, this must also be 6 minus root 3. But this part of it is root 3 plus 12 over 13. Therefore, this must be 6 minus root 3 minus 16 root 3 plus 12 all over 13. This, if you simplify it into a single fraction, it is 78 minus 13 root 3 minus 6 root 3 minus 12 all over 13. 78 minus 12 is 66 and minus 13 root 3 minus 16 root 3 is minus 29 root 3. So it is 66 minus 29 root 3 all over 13. We have the base and the height. Substitute them here. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and also turn on notifications. Thank you.